Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad that you are here. Today's topic is don't let yourself be distracted. Don't let yourself be distracted. That never happens though, right? You're always focused. You never really get distracted. You always stay on task. You, you follow through first time through, right? You never, you're never distracted. Who gets distracted? What were we talking about? Ha! Terrible joke. Couldn't help myself. So today's topic, of course, we'll jump right in. Don't let yourself be distracted. Sometimes I feel like I just got to speak and sometimes I feel it's better to just read what I wrote. In this case, we're going to read out what I wrote because I feel that it's more clearly articulated. So jumping into today, there's a better life waiting for you. It's waiting to be built by you. It's possible, it's very possible, this grand vision that you have for your life, but it's most likely that it's not just going to fall in your lap. It's not going to come easy, or it might be, it might come very easily. But as we both know, the more we overcome on the way to creating something, the greater the reward. That really is how it works, right? If it came easy, you know, to get a six pack and get jacked and ripped, sure, you'd look at your body and be like, dang, I look amazing, this is great. But imagine how much more satisfying it would be looking in the mirror after facing so many ups and downs with your diet and your workouts. You finally figured out what works best for you, what you like the most, what best fits your lifestyle. And it may have taken two or three years to overcome, but now how much more satisfying and how much more grateful are you to enjoy that body after all the hardship? That's kind of, it. you know, it's cliche, but it's true, right? The hardship is really what makes it so juicy, so enjoyable at the end when we kind of get there. And now I'm even learning something different. Like they say, the journey is the destination. I used to never really understand that. I did and I didn't, right? Conceptually, I did. But now I'm starting to experience what it means that the journey is the destination, that this is the joy, is the process of building, the process of becoming. And I'm starting to experience that and understand that. Um, that's, I guess, for another video, just some random thoughts coming up. So there's a better life waiting for you. It's waiting to be built by you. So it's very possible you can achieve this life, but it probably won't come easily or it might come easily. But it probably won't. It's going to take a lot of time, effort, hard work depending especially on what your current circumstances are, how many previous obligations, how many things uh, you're willing to let go of, how comfortable you are with change and really turning things upside down because that's what your life is going to take. It's going to require you to get uncomfortable uh, and being comfortable being uncomfortable because everything is about to change. That's how you know you're on the right path because the change means something different is happening. If you're comfortable, you're just recreating the same thing because it's the known, it's comfortable, it's what you know. So this is possible. Think about it like this. When a space shuttle is about to take off into the atmosphere and it's sitting there on the launch pad, think about how much fuel, how much energy, how much force, how much power needs to happen for it to initially get off the ground. There's a lot more energy that it takes to get off the ground and break through that atmosphere than in the very beginning. You think about it also like uh, when a plane takes off from a runway, a plane is sitting there, you know, you're in the cabin, uh, the cabin just hanging out waiting for the plane to take off. Think about how much energy and momentum it takes that initial boost to get going from zero miles per hour to eventually cruising on the runway to getting up to top speed to where you can you know, put the flaps down and have the wings. I don't know if that's how it works, by the way. Anyway, just getting off the ground. It takes a lot more energy and momentum initially to get off the ground. Once you're cruising in the air, it takes a lot less fuel, a lot less effort. Sure, you saw it requires your attention, your consistent effort. You might have to move some things around, but it's much smaller adjustments. Once you're on the path and you're up in the air, it takes a lot less energy. Same thing like you ever seen the strongman competitions where the dude is putting, or the girl, man or woman is pushing the semi truck. In the beginning, it's a ton of energy to get that thing moving, to get it budging. But once that semi truck is going, right, it's easily to continue that momentum going. So this is you. This is you. You are the plane. You are the shuttle. You are the man or woman pushing the semi truck. This is you getting your vision started. So with that much energy that it takes to initially get started, how much time and energy do you have for distractions, for going out, 
and, you know, drinking every weekend, chasing girls, uh, you know, playing video games all day or, um, you know, going out to brunch every weekend and then being exhausted because you were out for six hours in the morning with your friends, talking, having a bunch of drinks, now you're just kind of tired and you want to chill. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually very important too, and we'll talk about that during this video. But initially, when you're getting that vision off the ground, when you're getting things going, it takes such an amount of force and energy to build that initial momentum you really don't have any time or energy to get distracted. So don't allow yourself to be distracted. Or if everything is moving and you're in your vision and things are moving along and we've talked about what it means to be patient after you've planted the seeds so the plants can grow on their own, let you know nature, you know all that is, God, whatever that is for you to do its work, to do its thing. Yes, you need to lay back and chill. And again, it takes less energy and momentum, although it still takes consistency, attention to detail, these things, right? But you really don't have time or energy to be distracted. And the grander your vision is, the less distractions that you have time for, the less energy that you have time for. You know, when you're sitting here and you've got a, uh, you know, you've got a wife and kids or a husband and kids and you're taking care of the family and you want to spend family time and you're also working out and you have a regular job to support them, but now you've awakened, you want to do something else. So, okay, how much time and energy do you have to spend, you know, going out drinking with the boys or, you know, going out golfing for six, seven hours? Again, I'm not saying don't do this. It's actually very important to do. And I just had a couple of days coming off of doing stuff like that, just hanging out, decompressing, not working, not doing videos, things like this. But so there is a time and a place, and we'll talk to it. But the main point is these little distractions throughout your day, things that we, you know, do to whatever, take a load off, you know, blow off some steam that's needed. But if it is consistent or your life is filled with these things more than it is doing the things you need to do to move your vision forward, well, you have an imbalance and your distractions are getting the best of you. They're pulling away energy from your vision. Same thing with, um, you know, uh, I, I guess men, especially in this point, but men, it's both men and women. doesn't matter. But uh, I guess first experience or thing to share is, I guess, from a man's perspective, this is just what comes up for me personally, right? If you're single, sure, you want a relationship. And when you go and pursue your vision, you're hitting on all cylinders. You have a, you're a man with a vision, a man with a purpose. You're very clear in what you're doing. You don't have time to waste on too much small talk or conversations. You're on your thing. It can be very attractive to women, right? You're confident. You're like focused. You don't have time for any, like you, you're on your purpose. You're on your vision. It's very attractive to women. And so you, you begin, begin to garner a lot of extra attention. There's more girls giving you looks. They want to flirt with you that strike out conversations randomly and that's all well and good there's nothing wrong with that right that's fun it's enjoyable and I love doing that just as much as the next guy it's great but if we start to allow that say take it a step further and you're single and you're like well I building my vision but I yeah I am single I want to date that's part of my vision I might as well do it go for it if you can balance that go for it in my experience I tend to get distracted and then I'll you know because relationships if you really want a legit awesome relationship and we all do man or woman it takes a lot of energy for that as well because you're spending a lot of time and energy and money getting to know someone to go do these events taking time out of your day so you go to you know you wake up you go to breakfast um or we'll say you go out to dinner you go on a date you guys had a nice night together you wake up now you want to spend time together you go uh, out to breakfast you're like oh let's go out to the farmer's market or do this and you just hang out with your girl and that's cool and that's important and Say you do that with one girl, but you're like, I'm in the dating phase. So you're also dating another girl and then you date another girl and you're going to hanging out with all these girls. And all of a sudden, yes, you're hanging out with three or four different amazing women. And that part of your vision of having a great partner, that's necessary. However, the main vision that you had to build this business or do your do for yourself and all of a sudden, all that time, energy, and money you were spending building your vision, you're spending on relationships, and this thing really hasn't formed yet. So now, again, it becomes a distraction. So I'm not saying don't do these things. Each of you will have to decide and discern what the best activities are for you, and if these things you enjoy are becoming a distraction, or if it is helping you move towards your purpose. Because again, there's a time and a place that we all need to do these things, and we're going to talk about it. So knowing that your vision is going to require a lot of energy to transform yourself and build the life that you want, energy 
is your most precious resource, your energy, your time, your energy. Yes, time, but really your energy because you know we've all had moments where you're really on it and you're focused and you get more done in an hour than you did previously three days at work, right? So it's less about time, although that is an important factor. It takes me on a whole nother spiritual thing. Of course, time is just a construct. It's not real and that's true and all that, but stay, stay with me here. So time is important, but it's really your energy. Your energy is your most precious resource. You only have so much energy that you can put into working out and making sure that you're meditating and journaling and making sure that you're making all the phone calls and making the connections for your business and going on dates with this new girl you're seeing or this new relationship that you have or even if you're in an existing relationship that already takes up time and energy because you've already established something so you have other um, ways and things that you have to take into account about how you have to move about going in your vision best case scenario you're with a partner who's growth oriented supported on their vision and like two great trees you stand next together and support one another not necessarily draining or pulling a distraction distracting you from another although that is a great time also it's, it's nice to be distracted by your relationship if you are going and burning out so again it's individual for each person you have to decide when something is beneficial for you and when something is a distraction. So what's the distinction here? You've been working for three weeks straight, not going out at all, and you're gonna, you wanna go see a DJ that's in town with a couple of your friends. Go and do that, that's necessary. You gotta do that. So that one weekend after working for three weeks and going out on Friday and then Saturday night, now your friends are like, oh, he's back, she's back. So now you go out the next weekend and then the next weekend, and the next weekend, and there's an event during the middle of the week. So now you spent three, four weeks going out to five, six or seven different events on Friday and Saturday and drinking and going, having and fun, doing what you do, and now it's bled over into the week. Now all of a sudden, all that time and energy that was spent building up your business, you now, that necessary release, the one night out, the two night out outs that you needed, it's now bled over and become three, four weeks in a row. Now it's a distraction. So that's the distinction. These things are important. It's important to have balance. But again, I'm here to share with you and remind you and pose a question for yourself for reflection. Are these things that I'm doing this way that I'm going about my life? Am I moving towards my vision? Or are these things that I enjoy, am I now using them as an escape or a distraction to take me away from what needs to be done? You will have to decide that for you because it is important you go and do these things. Do not waste your energy on anyone or anything distracting you from creating the vision for your life. Especially toxic people, drama or gossip, negative outside influences, too much partying and drinking, too many video games, too much scrolling on your phone, social media, too much chasing girls, it's all distra distractions. And again, I say too much because yesterday I didn't do a damn thing. I've been working hard, I've been making videos every day, taking care of my dog. I spent time just chilling out with my dog, playing some video games, making a good meal, sitting on my ass more or less. And I've been going so hard these last two days, I felt I needed that and it was. The funny thing is, is I feel super rest and relaxed and I can also feel that some of the momentum that I had built went away. However, here's why I know it's not a distraction, it was the right thing to do. Now, as I have come back into making content today and I work today and I'm about to go to the gym and getting momentum, I feel rest and relax, rested and relaxed and rejuvenated. So I don't no longer feel drained. I feel that yes, I have to build some momentum to go up, but since I rested and relaxed the proper way, I feel re-energized. So although I need more moment, I need to rebuild some of the momentum was lost, being energized and relaxed, I'm gonna create even more momentum going forward because I gave myself that time to chill. So that's how you've got to discern, is this a distraction or is this a necessary part of my rest and relaxation? You need to go out to concerts. You need to go out to uh, dinners with your friends. You need to have a couple of drinks, burgers and beers with the boys. You need to go in, whatever, play some video games. You need to, uh, whatever it is for you, that release. I, you need to go up in the mountains and go camping for three days. Whatever the release is for you, you've got to do these things so you do not get burnt out. Just be mindful of when these things become distractions. So uh, again, for whatever reason, I guess, I guess it's because it's most relevant in my life. It's dating right now and I'm like, I just moved out to this new town. I don't even have my own my own place yet. I'm 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 shopping and I'm about to move into a uh, freaking awesome living situation. I'm super stoked about. It. I'm gonna have. It's gonna be nice to be in my own space again, my own energy. So not that I'm very grateful for my situation right now, but yes, I'm ready to get my own space. But anyways, 
So I'm like, okay, great. And I meet, I haven't even really gone out that much, but I'm meeting people randomly. I'll chat with women here and there and I can tell and they're like flirting and they're like, oh, and I'm like, dude, uh, I'm just not there right now. Like I'm not trying to date. I'm so, I'm so focused on what I'm doing. My work, building my channel, a few other things that I'm working on outside of here, getting back in shape. And I haven't even established home base yet. So I don't want to be distracted. Now there'll be a time, of course, when I'm like, yeah, okay, time to go date, time to go have fun, time to meet new people, you know, get out, mix it up, go and network and stuff. Now's not the time. So to me, that's a distraction. So I use that as an example for you. You have to discern what is a distraction in your life or what is it that you need. If you've been grinding and like say you've been building your business and it's taking off and you're still working a full-time job, but you're single and you want to bring a partner in your life, a man or a woman, well, yeah, you know, sis, you got to get out there. You got to go, you know, hang out with your friends a little bit, get a little dressed up, go out to the places where you want to meet these guys. You got to do that. So that is part of your vision. Now you're ready for it. So again, it's for you to discern individually. Am I being distracted or am I being, or is this a necessary part of my rest and relaxation? So avoid the toxic people, the toxic places, the negative energy, outside influences, anything or anyone distracting you from creating the vision that you want for your life. There's a time and a place for these things, but you need balance. And that's what we just talked about. The funny thing is, once you're really in the flow of creating your vision, you won't even want to do a lot of the old things you used to do because creating your vision and something that is most fulfilling to you, well, that is what you want to do because that's what's most fulfilling. That's what's most satisfying to you. So a lot of these things you used to do or want to do, you don't even want to do them because you're so focused and enjoying so much on what you're creating that is the release now you still do need to step away from it every once in a while right so you're not getting burnt out but that's kind of a funny thing how it works like you know why would i want to go out after work and get hammered and go to bed at 3 4 a.m and wake up super drained and feel like crap and sleep in and want, probably want to go eat a crappy meal and you know what i mean my day gets started at noon instead of seven eight nine well, I, to me, I'm like, damn, no, I don't even feel like making a video for the day. I don't even feel like making content. I'm just burnt out. I want to sit around and do nothing. And that doesn't make me feel good. So every once in a while, if I'm super burnt out and I want to spend a couple of days like that, that's cool. But again, when you're doing something that you really enjoy and you can see the purpose behind it, the intention, how it fits into your vision, it's so fulfilling and enjoy, uh, joyful to do this. I don't want to do other things that are going to take away from that. So that's kind of, it's the funny thing how it works. We distract ourselves, not because of we don't want to do the thing, but sometimes we distract ourselves because of the feeling of do, doing the thing. So you don't want to do the thing, which is sit down um, and go through the tax portion of building your business. You don't want to sit down and do the thing, not because you don't want to do the thing. Sure, you don't want to do it, but it's because you don't want to have the feeling of it. Sitting down make you feel bogged down. So you just got to reframe it in your mind. Well, why am I doing this? What's the purpose behind this? And then create a different perspective that will create a different feeling. So of course, I don't want to sit down and do taxes. God dang. Well, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because this is offering me an opportunity to build something for myself to where I can do this full time. Okay, so it's a necessary evil. We got to do this. So you might be, you know, just again, this book letting go, just digesting it like a very slow meal, like one or two pages at a time. But it's about sitting with the feeling that you're resisting. So you feel bored. You feel like, oh God, I got to do this. If you sit with that feeling and release that resistance towards going in and doing your taxes, for example, for your business or whatever, you'll feel less begrudged about doing it. You'll feel less resistant. And that's what this is all about, guys. It's about not going for what we want. It's, a bet it's about letting go of the resistance that's preventing us from that stuff coming in. Because it's going to come in no matter what, whether you realize it or not, or accept and believe it or not, the universe is always trying to send you good vibes, always trying to send you good situations to lead you towards a more happier and fulfilling life. We just tend to resist a lot of these things because of the fear of the unknown or, an un or a feeling of unworthiness. So it's about letting go of the resistance of these things. We distract ourselves not because of the thing, but of the feeling of the thing. So focus on overcoming and letting go of the negative feeling that comes from doing whatever it is that you have blocks on and the block will be released. You'll feel less, a lot less resistance. I'm kind of getting off tangent with this, but it kind of relates to it. The main thing is don't let yourself be distracted. Don't let yourself be distracted by people, places, or things pulling away from what you want to do. 
If you feel that you need to get away and do what you used to do because that was your old way of releasing every once in a while, go and do it. But again, the funny thing is, is when you go into the vision and building it and that process of creating what you really want, a lot of the things that you used to like and do and enjoy to blow off steam, they're not even in alignment. You don't even enjoy it. And it takes away energy from what you actually do want to build. And you'll find that out. So a real question to ask yourself is, are you willing to give up everything you've ever known to become everything you could be? Most people would say, yes, of course. But then when it comes down to it and it gets done, it comes to living poor for six months because you quit your job and you're transitioning into a better career field. Or when it comes... Uh, down to leaving your partner breaking up even though you've been together for four years you're not willing to do it because you're comfortable and well what if well that's so much well then you stay in a relationship you hate for the rest of your life that's a lot of people so most people aren't willing to give up the things the people the places the situations the work that comfort that they've known in order to really build what they truly want which requires change discomfort going into the unknown, which is the most fearful thing for us as human beings because we're wired to stick with what we know. It's just what the ego is. I'm a bit extreme, of course, when it comes to this and I'm aware of it. Like if something or someone isn't fitting my life, I will cut it off or cut them off or cut it out like kind of savage like. And I used to think this was a bad thing. And, uh, and it is partly a trauma response for me, which I'm aware of. And there's some reflection and healing and growth and, uh, you know, thinking that I need to do about this because cutting people off or out of your life so quickly is a trauma response from me not having people I could count on or go to. So I'm like, oh, they're just going to leave. They're not going to help me anyways. It doesn't matter. I'm on my own and I'm on my own anyways. And so I'm aware of that within myself, something that I'm currently exploring. Uh, however, I feel that the need for, you know, the trauma response for most other people is codependency. It's the opposite of that where you hold on for dear life, even though you sit your no situation, a workplace or whatever isn't good for you because you're scared of change. I'm kind of on the opposite end of that where I'm like, dude, I'll cut it off and leave like in an impractical kind of almost reckless way sometimes. And I bit me in the, I've bit me in the ass a couple times. So I've learned to kind of be, learn my own balance, right? So you've got to learn your own balance. Are you holding on too much because you're afraid to let go? Or are you more like me where you cut stuff off almost too quickly and like move almost too quickly? And you're like, dude, you got to give the universe a little time to prepare and like approach things a little more practically. But either way, you've got to be willing to give up some type of familiarity in order to move to something that is new. Because the only way something new and great is going to happen is if you're in the unfamiliar, the unknown, which is uncomfortable, but you got to do it. So you start with the develop. How do you start here? You start by developing the vision for your life. If you don't have a vision that uh, for your life that you're so connected to and excited about emotionally, then you'll look for distractions. You'll easily get distracted because what you really want, it's not really pure. It's not really authentic. It's not really what you want to do. It's not really meant for you. That way you're, you know, you're getting distracted because it's like, ah, eh, whatever. If it's something you want so badly, the distractions, you'd be like, eh, it's not really a big deal. Like do this that I can see for my life because I'm so connected with it or do that, that like is going to give me pleasure and a dopamine kick for, you know, a night out or whatever. And there's nothing wrong again, time and place it's in each. And if you're someone who can do both, party all night, party all weekend, party all day, do all that stuff and build your vision, more power to you, man. Um, for me, that is not how it's worked. And for most people, I don't think it is because there's a shedding of layers of an identity of an old self when you grow into something new. But that's where you want to start. You've got to start with your vision because if your vision isn't strong enough, you'll easily get distracted. And God knows how easy it is to get distracted. Just pull up your phone and look at TikTok. And next, next thing you know, you're like, oh, it was five minutes. Oh my God, it's an hour. Like even sitting in line at like a red light or to get your coffee, do you have to pull out your phone and like look at something because you're so anxious you need to fill your time because you're not comfortable just being? It's most people, all right? And you can look around anywhere. You go anywhere, everyone's just on their phone. They just need that quick dopamine rush because they're not comfortable just being. They're like, need something to do. It's crazy how addictive we've got to these things. So distractions are easy to find because your vision is a cool idea and not something so great you can't help but be pulled by it that's how you'll know you got to develop your vision uh quote, quote i'll give for you today is from mark manson the author of the subtle arc of, subtle art of not giving up and i think he wrote one or two other books um one of the problems of modern society or post the post internet age is that there are so many things bombarding us that we could care about I think it's more important than ever to really get clear and focus on what's worth caring about and what's just noise or distraction. 
Great quote by Winston Churchill to end it for today. You will never reach your destination if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks. I've used that one before. That's so true, though. So if everything barking for your attention, you allow it to stop and go, what, 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 what? Everything is just distractions, guys. Yes, sometimes they're necessary distractions to help us decompress and relax and rejuvenate, but don't let distractions fill the majority of your life. You should be so focused on what it is you want in your life and your vision, your whole life, your activities are shaped around that. That is you transforming. That is you becoming. That is your life changing. Because think about it when you're finally there at that vision, what your day is, what's your day gonna be like? You're probably gonna be very similar to what it's like now when you're in the flow, you're in doing the things you want to do. I can so clearly see it right now, guys. And whatever it is, a year, two, three years, five years, it takes for me to go full time, do YouTube, content, coaching, uh, create a community, all these things. I'm doing the same things that I'm doing now. I'm still gonna get on camera and speak every day. I'm still gonna go to the gym. I'm still gonna meditate. I'm still gonna write. I'll just have more time to do it, to dive deeper into these concepts, to work on my videos, to work on my ability to speak, to work on my ability to communicate and understand, to learn different knowledge and skills that I need to learn. I'm still gonna be doing the same thing. The only difference is I won't have a side job supporting me financially. This will be supporting me financially so that I can put all my time and effort into my purpose because this is what I enjoy doing. This is what you've got to find for yourself. This is what my whole channel is about. This is what I'm here for and I make these videos for, for you to support you in building the better vision that you want for your life, that thing that you want to move forward. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be healthy. You deserve to be financially free. You deserve to work for yourself. You deserve all the relationships and an amazing partner that appreciates and loves and shares the things that you love and appreciate and the things that you don't love and appreciate that can show you some differences and open you up to new things. You deserve to travel the world, which is what you want to do. You deserve to work for yourself on your own schedule and be the boss doing something that's fulfilling that gives you joy that enriches the lives of other people and you make more money than you can ever imagine doing you deserve all these things that's the vision for your life we have the same vision mine's going to look different the way that it turns out as yours is because we have different skill sets and different purposes that we're here for this is my vision this is my purpose this is what i'm here for this is what you are here for is to discover your own vision and purpose and I'm here to support you along the way and illuminating the blocks that are blocking you and to help guide you and redirect you and avoid the distractions so you can create what it is you want that's what we're here for and the reason I want to do this is very clear for me is because when you're living a happier healthier more purposeful intentional life you're a happier healthier person and each one of the people around you that you interact with on the daily basis and that you touch are going to feel that magic the positivity the vibration and they're going to open up and say man why is he or she always so happy dang you come in here you freaking look great your energy's always good what do you do for a living how did you get there like how do you think and you're going to be able to impart your positive ideas that have impacted your life in order to help other people each one to each one it's what we do guys so let's pull the card for today tap three times to clear the energy of any previous readings and ask for the purest and most divine truth the my highest good your highest good the highest good of the collective Man, I just kind of went on the rant there at the end, but it wasn't even a rant. That's just what needed to come out because that's what this is about, guys. I want you to create the vision for your life. It's what I'm doing. It's what you're doing in whatever way, shape, or form that you're doing it. Avoid the distractions. Create that vision. Go for yourself. Card we got for, woo, card we got for today. A couple of them flew out there as well. We're going to, okay, now I'm ready to work out, right? Got all this freaking energy coming up. All right, well, this is, there's two of them. This is the one we're going to pull. Six of Michael, look at the card. What picture, what image, what color pops up for you? I always say, look at that first. Reflect on any ideas that come up for you because that's your soul trying to speak for you, to you. I see a guy with his little dog, reminds me of my little boy, take care of my little boy. Coming out of rough seas and into brighter, greener pastures. Look at that, he's coming out of the storm, heading towards the shore is what it looks like. It's a beautiful beach. So we're at the light at the end of the tunnel. That's what this says. So if you're going through hard times, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. Some of you guys may need to have that balance and do the trip you've been wanting to go on. Go relocate and travel. That's what you need in order to re-energize, get fresh inspiration and ideas for your vision. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. If you've been going through tough times, the light at the end of the tunnel is coming. It's because it's created by you and you're in alignment and you're doing these things and searching for the answers on how you can change and grow yourself because you're creating your reality, guys. 
Breathe a sigh of relief. Make new plans. Look forward. Again, focus on your vision. Six of Michael. You're on your way to happier times. The situation that had you feeling stressed and worried is now behind you. A new day is dawning with sunny skies on the horizon. Embrace the changes and leave the past behind. You can now breathe a sigh of relief and begin to make new plans. Don't be afraid to ask for help in implementing the changes you desire. Additional meanings of this card. Seeing things objectively. Becoming more positive. Relocation or travel. Big, beautiful, bright days coming for us all, my friends. Focus on your vision. Do not allow yourself to be distracted. You deserve to have this life that you want. It does take a lot of work. It does take a lot of reflection. It does take a lot of energy. So don't be distracted. Use your energy on you and for your vision. This is for you and your vision. Yes, take care of your responsibilities, but by you focusing on what you want for your life and you begin to manifest and have that, you're gonna be having more of a positive impact on people that you could ever imagine. People that you will never talk to in your life just by going by and you and feeling that positivity, you can completely change the complexion or open up something that you may not be aware of. They see you walking down there like, why is he or she so happy? I'm sick of everyone so happy. Why is everyone so happy? And then all of a sudden they have this moment of clarity and they go, well, why am I so angry? Why am I so upset? Why am I so sad? Damn. Like, you never know. You could just literally completely change someone's outlook on life just by having a small talk with them or not just by walking out. You by wearing a funky hair color or whatever it is. And they go, man, I always wanted to do that. I was too scared. You know what? Screw it. She's doing it. I'm going to do it. And they go and dye their hair purple and they opens up a whole new level of personal freedom and expression for them. This is how the butterfly effect that works, man. This is how the trickle down effect works. This is how it goes. This is how light workers work. We work with the light. We lighten people up. Focus on your vision. The happier, healthier, more fulfilled you are, the more higher your vibrate raises, the more that you will positively impact others and the vibration of the collective consciousness raises. We do this together. Love you so much, guys. That's what I got for you today. I'll see you next time. Peace.